Well, thank you, Dave. I would like to bring you for a couple of minutes to Barambian area. It means to Ordovician area in central Bohemia, where we have complete succession of Ordovician age in the so-called Prague Basin. And the level about which I will speak is in our regional scheme assigned to Dobrotivian stage, which is accepted generally in Mediterranean area, and it is corresponding to Upper Darivillian to early Sandbian, in the British sense to the former or your regional stage of series Plandalo. And we have here Graptolite stratigraphy, which is not excellent in the whole basin, but only in some parts. I will speak about it later. And the material about which I will speak is coming from the Hosterograph to Sterezio school zone. It means from the older level of this stratigraphy in our area. The Dubrativa formation, which is in a very spectacular development within the basin, contains different associations in separate segments of the basin. And generally we can say that it is the first formation which includes really highly diversified skeletal fauna in general. Here are only shown some trilobites and agnostids and the ranges within Flandwin and Flandailo, it means within Darwillian in the recent understanding. We have here quite good record of different groups which are typical by its very well-preservable skeletons like brachiopods. We have quite common paterolids and this benignites. We have very well-preserved, highly diverse trilobites like placoparia and elenids. And in deeper part of the basin, we have really very typical cyclopigid trilobites which are associated with material about which I will speak in, the, in, the, in this talk. In this stratigraphic level, we have time to time also exceptional preservation, like we published two years ago, articulated harpetids and the <coughs> asaphids. It means really cryptic behavior, and we can, we can, cope, we can des design it as frozen behavior, which is preserved in some <laughs> levels, which are hard to follow because we get a lot of material from old collections, so we are not able to follow the outcrops after more than 100 years. Uh, the story about the Burgess-type fossil starts in 1968 when uh, Oberhel described genus Crichilla putzkeri based on two quite poorly preserved specimens. I was surprised by the poor quality of the material, we'll see the holotype and paratype in a couple of seconds. And he used uh, information which were accessible at that time. He interpreted this material as comparable to Aldanophyton antiquissimus, a species described from Siberia in 1953. And it was in that time interpreted as land plant in Cambria. But we then got some material to the beginning of 1990s, which was this, uh, preserved in a little different way. And we published a short report on it, on Krejciela, which was preserved in black shales. And we compared this material with what was described earlier than Aldanophyton, namely with Margaretia originally described in 1931 by Walcott from Burgess Shale. We compare this material from our middle Ordovician with, this, with these specimens, which were revised five years only, only five years earlier by Simon Conway Morris and Dick Robison, when they revised the material from Burgess and also some material from Utah and interpreted Margaretia as belonging to plants and namely to chlorophyta. So five years later in 1993, we assigned our material which was composed of holotype, paratype and one specimen which we had at that time at disposal to this algae. 
And I should say I was surprised by the public publication which appeared now about two months ago when Margaretia was interpreted by Naglu and Jean Bernard and Simon Conway Morris as suspension feeding tubiculous hemichordate. Because we have the same morphology like Margaretia also in the Ordovician, so we returned to our collections in different musea and we contacted also some private collectors because in last 20 years we have quite a number of such activity in Barandian area. Here we have now the information from four outcrops. The original outcrop for the holotype and for paratype specimens described in 1966-68 by, by Oberhell. It was impossible to interpret it from the facial point of view because they are preserved in silicified pebbles which are collected on fields as weathering debris and are splitted. So you don't get any association and you don't get any information about fossils co-occurring. What's very surprising, this material which is silicified is quite restricted. It's 3D preserved, but in comparison with Margaretia or with other material from our middle Ordovician, it's 3D and it's not flattened. So you see that it's really quite narrow. The material which we have now from the other four outcrops <coughs> looks like these at the photographs. It is not easy to get the material because it's coming from deepest part of the basin. Because we have now more material and thanks to private collectors, we are able to reconstruct the associated fauna and to say something more about environment where these objects occur. So th these are two, sp uh, two specimens, part and counterpart, and the largest specimens which we have at disposal are longer than 12 <coughs> centimeters. We have at all seven specimens at disposal, but unfortunately no hemichordate is occurring inside. So we have only this remain of this structure. Uh, when we reconstruct the position within the basin, for the Dobrotiva formation, we have the, situa the following situation. The near shore and most proximal facies is typical by ichnofossils, which are arranged to skeletos facies. Then when, when we go offshore, we have some orchid brachiopod associations, and then we have placoparia association, which is typical for the so-called slope associations, which are from the shallow water going to the deeper part of the basin. And then the deepest part is characterized by planktic graptolites. Thanks to that, we know that where it belongs from the point of view of graptolite stratigraphy. We have at this place both, at, at these outcrops, both metrocystids and lagenocystids, biophagy, so we are in relatively deeper environment. And what's the most typical associ associated fauna are cyclopicid trilobites. So we are somewhere in lower part of the placoparia association on the slope, and the material is most probably slightly transported, but the transport is not too long. And what's also very typical for all the samples where this Gratiella morphotype is present is complete absence of any bioturbation. We don't have slabs where the fauna is associated, so we don't have any benthic animals associated with this material. The only associated <coughs> forms on the surface are remains of cyclopigid trilobites <coughs> of different genera. We are not able to separate some depth zones like in China, but we know we are in the cyclopic biophages, but we don't be in the deepest anoxic paterula association. So the environment based on the associated fauna from sections and from the slabs is showing that the environment 
was most, probab most probably disoxic. It was not typical oxic and it was not completely anoxic. So when we plot all the data which were already compiled in the paper on the first interpretation two months ago by, by Nagru et al, and we plot all the stratigraphic ranges, we see that these tuberculose hemichordates occur at first at Sinsk in Siberia, which is in this stratigraphic level. Then we have the occurrence of Margaretia morphology in South China. And then we have five or six localities in North America in Laurentia. The consequence is that all the occurrences in early and mid Cambrian are restricted to tropical belt for the Cambrian time. And when we plot the information from our Ordovician, so the occurrence of this racial amorphotype of these tuberculose hemichordates is about 50 to 60 million years younger. And from environmental point of view, we are in West Gondwanan or European Perigondwanan subpolar area. It means we have here a preservation of this morphology and of these organisms outside of the tropical or subtropical area, which is typical for Cambrian occurrences. So as a summary, we can say that this putative green algae Gracella from mid or divisional Prague basin is in reality tuberculose hemichordate. We can say that the hemichordates producing this type of envelopes are ranging at least to middle or division. And from geographically, ge paleogeographical point of view, there is supposedly latitude and control for the Cambrian occurrences, but we have different environment for mid or division presence of this Krejciela type in Prague Basin. Thank you for your attention.